Hello and welcome to your OT weekly activity. So today I'm going to use some things that I found around my house and I came up with a plan for. So I've got some very exciting materials. A box of spaghetti and a pizza box. I wonder what we're going to do. Well, we'll find out. We're going to start by unfolding this box. So you have to find the ends and take it apart. A lot of good pinch here is going on. Find that space, break it apart. Flatten out your box. There we go. Now, you're gonna need a pair of scissors. You're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut along the line. So right along there. Now you can add a black line uh, for those of us who are practicing cutting straight on the line or you can just go for it and fix it later. Up to you. The other thing that you could do is use some tape as a guide. Uh, I don't have masking tape. I don't have a black marker, so I'm just going to go for it. If you have it, I really enjoy using tape as a block. I've got my thumb up on my scissors. The cardboard itself gives some nice resistance as I cut along the edge. All right, so now I'm making this flat. What I want to do is get the picture, so the one with the pizza on top. I'm going to cut off those extra edges and cut all the way around. So, that's a lot of really good cutting practice for our friends. And we're using some materials that are sustainable. <laughs> that's always what we like to do, especially so close to Earth Day later this month. So I'm continuing to cut on those lines. What's nice is that on my box, there's some very clear lines and indentations for me to follow. As I cut along the edges, keep it going. And the last one, we're gonna go all the way up and around. Okay. So now we've got our square. So that in itself is great cutting practice, but we can keep it going. So again, my handy dandy highlighter, this is the only color that I have that's dark enough. Uh, I apologize for those of you at home for using what we've got, we're adapting. So depending on how old everyone is that's involved in this project, you're going to wanna make lines on the back. So. If you're younger, two pieces is the way, and so on, you keep building as you get better and better at puzzles. It takes a lot of time to do it, but you might have heard me just say puzzles. We're gonna make a puzzle. So you can either draw a line down the middle, you can draw it into quarters, you can draw different shapes, so you can make one curvy, for example, and one zigzag. I'm gonna go for the most complex today to make the zigzag and the curvy line. So. Keep in mind that puzzles are something that we learn. We keep building and we keep figuring out the better picture. When we figure out how to match up those shapes, it's kind of hard, right, at first. So trying with the two pieces is a good way to do it. And then trying with multiple afterwards is kind of the right way to grade it. Grading meaning to make it easier or harder. All right, so we're gonna cut along our curvy line, which you may or may not be able to see. There we go. You got your curvy line and your zigzag line. So you can have your child trace that with their finger first, just so that they can get their eyes ready and following that pattern. When you're ready, you get your scissors. You'll cut it in small cuts, turning your cardboard. Keeping in mind that cardboard is a little bit more challenging to cut. It's really good practice and resistance for us. So we've got zigzags going on here. <laughs> and this is one of my favorite things to do, working on cutting, getting cardboard and trying different levels of thickness. Okay, now the curvy one. So you're gonna trace that with your finger and for you, you're gonna have it down in front of you, finding your trace. Okay. So cutting along that curvy line, 
Your thumb is on top. Keep following that line with your eyes. Again, you can use tape to make a more solid barrier that will give you a little bit of pushback and a little bit of a clear boundary. Depending on what shape you're doing, it's easier to do tape. The zigzag, for sure, you can do tape. The curve, it'll be a little bit more challenging. Okay, so now we've got our curves. So now we have a three-piece puzzle. See that? And then the other side. But let's make it a little bit more challenging. So you can cut right across. So I'm going to cut each piece in half. Now you can draw lines or you can just go for it with a snip. Go all the way through. You can cut down this larger piece, a straight line down the middle if you'd like. There we go. And now we've got our full puzzle. So you can kind of mess around with it, find the pieces, set it up. And I'll show you. Not as easy as you'd think in a homemade puzzle. Check that out. Pretty cool. All right. That has been our OT activity of the day.